Hallelujah. To the Lord God Almighty, God of mercy, God of hope, we thank you for the cross, Lord. We thank you, Father Lord, that no matter who we are, O oh Lord, yes, Father Lord, you have called us from different backgrounds, O oh Lord. You lifted us up, oh Lord our God. Thank you for the blood of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father Lord, for this wonderful morning, Lord. Thank you, Father Lord, that we can come to you, Lord, no matter whom we are, no matter our level, O oh Lord our God. When we come into your presence, you behold us, you see us, O oh Lord as equal because we are your child redeemed by the blood of jesus christ thank you father for this wonderful privilege we thank you lord for what you have done for us on the cross of calvary we bless your holy name this morning hallelujah to your name O lord thank you father we magnify your name lord this morning lord we praise you for calling us to be an heir of your eternal kingdom oh gracious father we worship you lord we bless you lord god almighty for your hand upon our life and for keeping us underneath your everlasting harm lord we thank you we thank you father for our a changed life O oh lord a transformed life O oh lord when we come to the lord jesus christ lord we thank you we give Give you devout and noble thanks, O Lord, for the great gift of Jesus Christ. Thank you, mighty Father. Thank you, our Lord and our God. We thank you, Lord, for the presence of the Holy Spirit within us. We thank you, our Lord and our God. Father, we praise your name this morning. We say hallelujah to the Lord God Almighty. Oh, Father, we are so grateful this morning. Let us sing unto the Lord this morning.
holy is the lord god almighty this morning i want us to pray that whatever it is that we have come into the presence of the holy god anything in our life let us confess and ask him to forgive us lord this morning anything in our life oh lord that is not pleasing to you gracious father we ask for forgiveness oh lord our god we plead the blood of jesus this morning father lord that you will forgive us oh lord anything oh lord that will hinder our prayer this morning lord we ask that you will forgive us in the name of jesus christ in jesus name amen let us make our confession psalm 23 open your bible to psalm 23 or you can listen if you are driving or you are at work. Let us listen. Psalm 23. Psalm 23. A Psalm of David. The Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for His namesake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil. For You are with me, Your rod and Your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely Your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Hallelujah. That is our difficulty psalm 24 this morning. Of David, let me stop. a psalm. So let us pray this morning as we are declared that, Lord, my Father, give me the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, mighty Father God, because you are my shepherd. You are the dependable one. Oh, Lord our God. I'm asking you, Lord, this morning, give me the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of you, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, as the good shepherd, who sees, who knows, who will lead me. Father, I pray, give me the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of you, in the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name. Amen. Let us pray that, Lord, let my eyes of understanding be enlightened in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord my Father, let my eyes of understanding be enlightened in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, let my eyes of understanding be enlightened in the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh Lord my Father, give me the grace to continue to know the hope of your calling in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, give me the grace to continue to know the grace of your for calling in the name of Jesus Christ. You know the sheep, it, the Lord said, the, my sheep hear my voice as the Lord called you. Let pray that Lord, give me the grace to continue to know the hope of your calling as I hear your voice and I follow. I will not follow strange ones in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, give me the grace to continue to know the hope of your calling in the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, amen. Oh Lord, let me experience the riches of your inheritance in the saints in the name of Jesus Christ. Almighty Father, let me experience the riches of your inheritance in the saints in the name of Jesus Christ. My Father, my Lord, let me experience the riches of your inheritance in the saints in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. My Father, my Lord, let me experience the exceeding greatness of your power in in the name of Jesus Christ, Almighty Father, I pray this morning, let me experience the exceeding greatness of your power in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord my God, let me experience the exceeding greatness of your power in the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, Amen. My Father, let my love continue to abound more and more in knowledge 
and in no discernment. In the name of Jesus Christ, Heavenly Father, this morning, all I desire is that, Lord, let my love continue to abound more and more in knowledge and in all of the assignments. In the name of Jesus Christ, Heavenly Father, I pray this morning that no matter what, O oh Lord, let my love continue to abound more and more in knowledge and in all discernments. In Jesus' name, Amen. I will be sincere without offense till the day of Christ in the name of Jesus Christ. I will be sincere without offense till the day of Christ in the name of Jesus Christ. There's many things that want us to be offended, but no, I will be sincere without offense till the day of Christ in the name of Jesus Christ. No matter what, no matter the situation, I will be sincere without offense till the day of Christ in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Oh Lord, let me be filled with the fruit of righteousness in the name of Jesus Christ. My Lord and my God, let me be filled with the fruit of righteousness in the name of Jesus Christ. Father Lord, let me be filled with the fruits of righteousness in Jesus' name. My Lord and my Father, this morning I cry out to you, let me be filled with the fruits of righteousness in Jesus' name. Amen. Let us pray that my Father. Make me to increase and abound in love. In the name of Jesus Christ, Heavenly Father, make me to increase and abound in love. In the name of Jesus Christ, Heavenly Father, this morning, I want that spiritual vitamins, Lord, Lord, in my system. I need it, Lord. Make me to increase and abound in love. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, Amen. Oh, Lord, my Father, loving Father, Caring Father, establish my heart blameless in holiness before you in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Father, establish my heart blameless in holiness before you in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, my Father, you are Holy Father. You are the Lord God Almighty. Establish my heart blameless in holiness before you in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, Amen. My Father, let me be enriched in all utterance and in all knowledge in the name of jesus christ father lord this morning i've come to you lord god almighty feel me lord feel my cup oh lord i lift it up to you lord let me be enriched in all utterances and in all knowledge in the name of jesus christ oh lord my father let me be enriched in all utterances and in all knowledge in the name of jesus christ so that the word of my mouth oh lord will be acceptable unto you father lord let me be enriched in all utterances and in all knowledge in the name of jesus christ in jesus name amen oh lord my father let the testimony of christ be confirmed in me in the name of jesus christ mighty father god let the testimony of christ be confirmed in me in the name of jesus christ lord i present myself unto you this morning and i ask oh lord let the testimony of christ be confirmed in me in the name of jesus christ in jesus name amen my father let me not come short in any good gift in the name of jesus christ oh lord my father because, oh Lord, you have given us everything, oh Lord, that pertains to life and godliness. You give, give gifts to your children. Lord, let me not come short in any good gift in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, let me not come short in any good gift in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Oh Lord, my Father, let me be blameless. In the day of our Lord Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, Father Lord, let me be blameless in the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, my Father, I pray the Lord. That is why we wake up every morning so that Lord, you can prepare us, Father, for that day. Oh Lord, I pray, let me be blameless in the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, Amen. Oh, mighty Father God, feed me to the brim with spiritual understanding 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Ignorance must go because they, my people have been destroyed for lack of knowledge. Lord, let me fill me to the brim with spiritual understanding in the name of Jesus Christ. Ignorance, you have to depart from my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Ignorance, you have to go. Oh Lord, my Father, fill me to the brim with spiritual understanding in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, my Father, fill me to the brim with spiritual understanding in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, Amen. Hallelujah. Let us go to our spiritual warfare. You remember we using the psalm to pray the spiritual warfare. You can use the psalm to pray any kind of prayer, but at this section, this year, you know, we're using it as spiritual warfare. You go to the psalm, the book of psalm, you want to sing, sing the psalms. You want to pray, pray the psalms. You want to meditate, meditate on the psalm. You want to have knowledge, go to the psalms, begin to read it. Yeah? And you will see how your life will be transformed. Just put yourself in that position of the writer just imagine if that situation you are going through see how he's talking to god how he's reflecting is not just transparency before god and that is what my heart desire for each one of us by the end of this year that will be so transparent will be clear with god we can tell god anything oh hallelujah to the lord so let us go to the psalm this morning Psalm 18, where we stopped last, uh, last, yesterday, from verse 29. He said, For by thee I run through a troop, and by my God have I leaped over a wall. Hallelujah. Let us pray that, Lord. Give me the strength to run through every demonic troop and leap over every demonic wall erected to hinder my progress. In the name of Jesus Christ, mighty Father God, for by thee I have run through a troop, and by my God have I leaped over a wall, and I want this my, to be my testimony. So, Father Lord, give me the strength to run through every demonic troop and leap over every demonic wall erected to hinder my progress, every demonic wall erected to hinder my children's progress. Lord God Almighty, I'm standing in the gap Oh Lord, for my family this morning, give us the strength, oh Lord, to run through every demonic troop and to leap over every demonic wall erected to hinder our progress. Oh Lord, my Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we are asking you, Lord, because the psalmist testify that, Lord, for by thee have I run through a troop. Let this be our testimony, Lord, and by God, our God, we have we leap over a wall. So, Father, Lord, every world that has been erected to hinder our children's progress our progress oh lord give us the power the blood to leap over every demonic world in the name of jesus christ in jesus name amen verse 32 of that passage said it is god that guided me with strength and make me my way perfect it is god only god no other way not human in wisdom no it is god this morning let pray that lord Guide me with your strength and make my way perfect in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, my Father, guide me with your strength and make my way perfect in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, my Father, guide my children with your strength, oh Lord, and make their way perfect in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, because it is God that guided me with strength and make my way perfect. Lord, I declare this morning that it's only you, only you, Lord God Almighty. So, Father, Lord, guide us with your strength and make our way perfect to oh Lord in the name of Jesus Christ in Jesus name Amen verse 33 of Psalm 18 he said this he make my feet like his feet and set me upon my high places let us pray that Lord make me run faster than my enemies and leave me higher than them in the name of Jesus Christ, because only you, it is only you. But our God, we can run through. Lord, make me run faster than my enemies and leave me higher. Leave me higher than them. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord, my Father, make my children run faster. Give them the strength, oh Lord, to run faster than their enemies and leave them higher than any one of the enemies. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord, our God, this morning, as a family, Lord, we cry unto you. Make us run faster than the enemies, oh Lord, and lift us higher than them. In the name of Jesus Christ, lift us higher. In the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, amen. 
Amen. This is what God will do. He said, He teacheth my hands to war, so that a bow of steel is broken by my arms. In the name of Jesus, pray that Lord teach me spiritual warfare and strengthen me for battle. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord, my Father, that I will not be a victim. Oh, gracious Father, teach me spiritual warfare and strengthen me for battle. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, Lord, teach me spiritual warfare and strengthen me for battle in the name of jesus christ oh lord my father the area the enemies is deceiving us saying that oh no we do not need to fight whereas he's killing us oh father lord this morning the lord teach us oh lord teach our hands oh lord to fight to war so that a bowl of steel will be broken by our arms in the name of jesus christ we will not be running at a scatter but we'll be able to face him like david was able to face the goliath so lord teach us oh lord teach our hands oh lord god almighty teach us to know how to fight the spiritual battle that will face it in the name of jesus christ oh father we thank you in jesus name amen verse 35 of that same psalm he said he has also given me the shield of the salvation and at the right hand had holded me up and the gentleness had made me great pray that lord give me the shield of your salvation the shield of your salvation lord give me the shield of your salvation this morning i take up the shield the shield this morning give me the shield of your salvation this morning hold me up with your right hand mighty god hold me up with your right hand and make me great by your gentleness in the name of jesus christ oh lord give me the shield of your salvation hold me up with your right hand make me great by your gentleness oh lord my father lord god almighty will there be anyone that is facing battle this morning lord i pray that you give them the shield you protect them oh lord give them the shield of your salvation oh lord father lord god almighty hold them up with your right hand and lord, make them great lord lord make any one of us that is facing battle this morning make us great by your gentleness in the name of jesus christ in jesus name amen and now the psalmist declare <clears throat> there is power in declaration he said i pursue my enemies and i overtake them neither did i turn again till they were consumed i'm determined i with this situation mm -mm. I will see the hand of this situation. This situation will, need, will not see my hand. In the name of Jesus Christ, I will overcome. He declared, still in the battle, he declared that I, I pursue my enemies and overtake them. Neither did I turn till they were consumed. Pray that in the name of Jesus, I receive anointing to pursue and overtake my enemies and I render them powerless in the name of Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I receive anointing to pursue and overtake my enemies and I render them powerless in the name of Jesus Christ some of us there sometimes we need to pray that prayer may take us to go and to fasting for three days or more days so that we can have the total victory but we see at the end of the age of that miracle we give up oh no this morning pray that in the name of Jesus Christ, I will not give up at the edge of my miracle, of my breakthrough. You are about to have the breakthrough. Then you just turn back. Oh, you just say, why, why am I wasting my time praying, praying, praying? Oh, God will do whatever we do. Yes, already God will do whatever we do. But you need to persist. You need to continue. Like the psalmist say, I pursue my enemies and overtake. I will pray until something happens. I will not give up. Pray in the name of Jesus Christ. I receive anointing to pursue and overtake my enemies and I render them powerless. In the name of Jesus Christ, I will not give up at the end of my miracle. In the name of Jesus, I will not give up at the end of my breakthrough. In the name of Jesus Christ, I will not give up. In the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, amen. Verse 38, he said, I have wounded them and they were not able to rise. They are falling under my feet. 
You put them where they belong. Hallelujah. Oh, Father Lord, let us pray. In the name of Jesus, I receive power to wound my enemies. In the name of Jesus Christ, I receive power. In the name of Jesus Christ, I receive power. Because he said, Behold, I give you your power to stample upon serpent and scorpion. And nothing shall by any means hurt you. That is the word of God this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ, I receive the power to wound my enemies, to trample upon every serpent of Scorpio. In the name of Jesus Christ, in my life, in my family, in my marriage, in my business, in my career, I receive the power this morning to trample, to wound every enemies of progress, enemies of breakthrough. In the name of Jesus Christ, I receive the power to wound every power of the, of the enemy this morning. In the name of Jesus, and I decree. According to the word of God, they will not be able to rise again, but will be forever banished under my feet in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree, according to the word of the Lord, that they will not be able to rise against me, but will be forever banished under my feet in the name of Jesus Christ. They will forever banish under my feet in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. If I start in myself, for thou, O God. Has guided me with strength unto the battle that was subdued under me, those that rose up against me in the name of Jesus Christ. We must recognize who is fighting the battle for us. And if while we're still in the midst of the battle, let us decay. Lord, this is your battle. And I thank you, Father Lord, because you are the one that has given me strength, even to wake up every morning to pray, or to pray in the afternoon or in the evening. Father Lord, I thank you. Pray that, Lord. Strengthen me for battle and subdue under me those that rise up against me in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, my Father, strengthen me for battle. And subdue under me those that rise up against me in the name of Jesus Christ. Mighty Father God, strengthen me for battle and subdue under me those that rise up against me in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. I take authority over all my enemies and I destroy their power in the name of Jesus Christ. I take authority over all my enemies and I destroy their power in the name of Jesus Christ. According to the word of the Lord in Psalm 18 verse 40, it said, Thou hast also given me the necks of my enemies that I might destroy them that hate me. Therefore, I take authority over all my enemies and I destroy their power in the name of Jesus Christ. I destroy their power in the name of Jesus Christ. You enemies of progress, you enemies of breakthrough, enemies of my joy. I take authority over you, whatever the enemies, whatever you know that is make harassing your life this morning. Take authority over it. Enemies of my progress, enemies of my breakthrough. I take authority over you and I destroy your power. I destroy your power. Enemies of my peace, enemies of my joy. In the name of Jesus Christ, I take authority over you. In the name of Jesus Christ, for the Lord has given me the neck of my enemies and I'm, that I might destroy them. Therefore I take authority over all my enemies and I destroy their power. In Jesus name Amen. See what the psalmist say. Say they cried but it was not to save them. Even unto the Lord but he answered them not. Oh Lord, let the cries of all my enemies go unanswered. In the name of Jesus Christ, let the cries of my enemies go unanswered. In the name of Jesus Christ, unless they are crying for repentance. Oh Father Lord, let the cries of my enemies go unanswered. Unless they want to turn from their wicked ways. So oh Lord, do not answer them. Do not answer them. In the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, Amen. Verse 42, he said, Then did I beat them small as the dust before the wind. I did cast them out as the dirt in the streets. Pray, Lord, give me power to crush all the powers of darkness working against me in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, give me power to crush all the powers of darkness working against me in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, Give me power to crush all the powers of darkness working against me and my family in the name of Jesus Christ. Let them become as the dust and dirt in the streets in the name of Jesus Christ. All the powers of darkness that is arising my life, arising my children's life, Lord, let them become as the dust 
and death in the street in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Father Lord, because in your power, I did beat them small as the dust before the wind, and I did cast them out as the dirt in the street, according to your word. Lord, let them become as the dust and dirt in the street in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Verse 43 he said, Thou hast delivered me from the striving of the people, and thou hast made me the head of the heathen, a people whom I have not known shall serve me. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Pray that, Lord, deliver me from the striving of the people. In the name of Jesus Christ, whether it's at work, even in the family, or in, in, your, in your neighborhood, or in your church, Lord, deliver me from the strivings of the people and make me the head of the hidden. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, make me the head of the hidden. In the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, amen. Pray that, Lord, show me so much divine favor to the extent that the people whom I did not know will serve me. In the name of Jesus Christ, he's asking for favor of God. When the favor of God envelope you, the people you do not know, they will just serve you. They will be at your service. Oh, mighty Father God, I'm asking for favor this morning. Divine favor. Divine favor for me and my household, for my children. Lord God Almighty, show us so much divine favor to the extent that the people whom we do not know will serve us. In the name of Jesus Christ, Oh Lord, my Father, your words say, It is the Lord who blesses the righteous and surrounds them with favor as with a shade. Lord God Almighty, we are asking you this morning that you will show us so much favor, that you will envelope with your favor, envelope our children with your favor. Lord God of favor, favor us this morning in the name of Jesus Christ, that the people whom we do not know will serve us. They will be at our service in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Then he said, as soon as they hear of me, they shall obey me. The strangers will submit themselves unto me in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, I know we always pray this when we are praying for any sickness, anything from our body to vacate in the name of Jesus. That is the word of God. As soon as they hear me, they hear my voice in the name of Jesus. They shall obey me. The strangers shall submit themselves unto me in the name of Jesus. Pray that, Lord, make me a terror to all demonic spirits, that as soon as they hear of me, they shall submit and obey me. In the name of Jesus Christ, mighty Father God, make me a terror to all demonic spirits, that as soon as they hear of me, they shall submit and obey me. In the name of Jesus Christ, O oh Lord my Father, make me a terror to all demonic spirits, that as soon as they hear of me, they shall submit and obey me. In the name of Jesus Christ, and make sure that you are in work in line with the God in the name of Jesus Christ because if you confront any demon and you are still in you have their possession in you they will just ask you and they ask the son of Skivers who are you we know Paul we know Jesus but who are you? So you have to be in line with God's word. You have to be obedient to God's word. So before they can obey you, they can disappear. When you say they go, you have to be. That Lord make me a terror to all demonic spirits. And as soon as they hear of me, they shall submit and obey me. In Jesus' name, amen. He continue. That the stranger shall fade away. And be afraid out of their close places. In the name of Jesus Christ, the stranger shall fade away and be afraid out of their close places. In Jesus' name, pray now that I command strangers in my life to fade away and I cast them out of their close secret places. In Jesus' name, according to the word of God, it's not by my own righteousness, but by the word of God this morning, I want you to pray for yourself that it is strange that the word of God say that strangers shall fade away and be afraid out of their close places. Therefore, I command strangers in my life, I command strangers in my family, I command strangers in my children's life to fade away and I cast you out of their close secret places anywhere you are I cast you out in the name of Jesus. Come out of your hiding places because the word of God says the strangers shall fade away and be afraid and out of their close places. Come out of your close places in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. And he said, It is God that given me, that avenged me, and subdued the people under me. Pray that, Lord, 
avenge me of my adversary and subdue them under me in the name of Jesus Christ. My Lord and my Father, you are the righteous judge. You are the defender. So, Lord God Almighty, for it is God that avenged me and subdued the people under me. Lord, avenge me of my adversary and subdue them under me in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Lord, my Father, avenge me of my adversary and subdue them under me in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, this morning, we cry out to you, Lord. We come into your courts, O Lord, God Almighty. You are our defender. You are the righteous judge, O Lord. Avenge us, O Lord, of every adversary, Lord. We drag them to your courtroom this morning. Lord, avenge us, O Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. The final one we want to pray on that session. It said, He deliver me from my enemies. Declare, he delivered me with assurance because I've called unto him. Yea, thou lifted me above all those that rise up against me. Thou hast delivered me from the violent men. Hallelujah to the Lord God Almighty. Oh, pray, thank the Lord that this morning, that Lord, I thank you because you delivered me from my enemies. Lord, I thank you because you lifted me up above those that rise up against me. Thou hast delivered me from the violent men in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I thank Thank you, Lord, for you lift me up above those that rise up against me. Hallelujah to your name, O Lord, this morning. Blessed be to your name, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us go to the word of God this morning. Before we continue our prayer, we're going to read from Ephesians chapter 3. And I will read just one verse, verse 20. Verse 20 said, Now to him who is able to do immeasurable more than all we ask or imagine, according to his power that is at work within us. Now to him to do exceedingly abundantly. Now to him who is able to do above and beyond. That is the one God we are calling on. That is the God that we are serving. That is the God who is our Father. And I like this doxology. Now to him who is able to do above and beyond all that we ask or think according to the power that works in us. At times, we feel as if we could impress God with all we are trying to do for him and his church. Yet, God has yet to be impressed with even the most grandiose human aspiration. It's yet to be impressed with whatever we think that we're doing. Let us see what Psalm 8 says. Psalm 8, verse 3 and 4. He said, When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you have set in place, what is mankind that you are mindful of them? Who might be that you care for them? You will never set a goal so big or attempt a task so significant that God does not have something far greater than he could do in and through your life. Take for example, Saul of Tarsus worked harder than anyone else to impress God with his effort only to discover that his greatest achievement was but rubbish compared to God's will for his life. He said that in Philippians chapter 3. Let me turn to that. Philippians chapter 3. Okay. Chapter 3, verse 7 and 8. This is what Paul said. And the peace, okay. he 
said, But whatever we are gained to me, I now consider loss for the sake of Christ. What is more, I consider everything a loss because of the surpassing worth of knowing Christ Jesus, my Lord, for whose sake I have lost all things. I consider them garbage that I may gain Christ, that I may gain Christ. Our problem is that <clears throat> we become too easily, you know, carried away with our own plan. If we are tempted to do noble or difficult things, we assume that we must be experiencing the maximum potential for our lives and that God must therefore be pleased with us. Until we have heard from God, we cannot even imagine all that our life could become or all that could accomplish through us. We need to remind ourselves that the Father sees the big picture that his power far exceeds our limited imagination. We must set aside our agenda, however lofty that agenda may be. We must never become satisfied with our own dreams, for they are finite at best. When we follow God's direction, we will witness things happening in our lives that can only be explained by his powerful presence. How could we be satisfied with anything less, brothers and sisters? How could we? This word, exceedingly, abundantly, far and beyond, God is able to do above and beyond all that we ask or think of. All that we ask and think of, God is able. He's able to help us. He's able. Whatever credits or sources, just like our brother Paul, after showing all that he could beat, you know, the Judesa at their own game, being proud of who they were and what they had done, Paul showed that it was the wrong game. So be careful of considering past achievements. Be careful. Our relationship with Christ is more important. Be careful of any level you may have taken. Your relationship with Christ is more critical. As we worship and pray, let the Holy Spirit remind you of Christ's word. Take up Christ's mission, and that is to preach the gospel and learn from his suffering. And to do this means that you must make a major changes in your lifestyle. So are you willing to change your values in order to know Christ better? Will you fix or rearrange your crowded schedule in order to set aside a few minutes each day for prayer and Bible study? Will you change some of your plans and goals and desires in order to conform with what you learn about Christ? Whatever you must change or give up, having Christ and becoming one with him will be more than worth the sacrifice. And we are saying, God, to him we is able to do above and beyond all that we ask or think according to his power that work in us. He's ready to work in us. Let us surrender to him. Let us ask him to help us this morning. Pray that God, I need your help. I know you can do it far more above all that I ask. Whatever is that is hindering us this morning, let us ask the Lord, Father, Lord, help me. Help me, Lord. 
this thing that is com becoming a stubborn block on my way of my total surrender unto you, Lord. That is not making me to yield my life to you totally. Help me, Lord. You know it. So ask the Lord, my, my Father, help me in the name of Jesus Christ. I know, Lord, that you are you can do exceedingly abundantly. You can do above and beyond all that I'm asking, all that I'm thinking, according to your power that work in us. Thank you, Lord. Let us begin to thank the Lord this morning. Thank you, Father Lord, because you are God. You are able, Lord. You are able. Whatever I'm facing now, I know you are able to do far more exceedingly. Whatever be the challenge that I'm facing in my marriage or in my children's life, Lord, I know you are able, abundantly able to do above and beyond all that I'm asking you. Thank the Lord for that assurance. This is an assurance for somebody this morning. It may not be for all of us. This part of the scripture. You who are receiving it this morning, begin to narrate it to yourself. Lord, this is the situation. My child needs a husband. And I know that you are able, far more able, to do far above and beyond all that I'm asking for godly husband, for godly wife. For my child, Lord, you are able. Oh, my child, need a child of, of her own. Lord, I know you are able to make her, Lord, to, to make her and the marriage to be fruitful. I know you are able. My business, you are able, Lord. God is able. And thank the Lord in Jesus' name. And with that note, let us go for our intercessory this morning. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. This morning we shall be interceding for the sick. So we are going to pray to God for healing for all that are sick, the friends, the family member, everyone that we know, even the ones we do not know. We are going to cry unto God on their behalf this morning. And the Lord will hear us because we know He hears. The psalmist in Psalm 50, verse 15 says, Call on me in the day of trouble. I will deliver you and you will honor me. Psalm 107 verse 20 also says, He sent out his word and healed them. He rescued them from the grave. And Matthew 7, 6 to 8 says, Ask, it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks, receives. Everyone who asks receives. The one who seeks finds. And to the one who knocks, the door will be open. To the door, to the ones who knock, the door will be open. So we are going to ask, we are going to seek, and we are going to knock on doors of healings for the sick one this morning. And because the Lord hears us, He said, Call on me in the day of trouble. I will deliver you and you will honor me. So we are going to cry on behalf of the sick one this morning in the name of Jesus. Let us praise the name of the Lord because he has a mighty power that is able to heal all sicknesses. Praise God for his mighty power that is able to heal all sicknesses. Whatever name that sickness is, high blood pressure, diabetes, cancer, or even neurological, Whatever that in the name of that sickness is, uh, in as much as that sickness has a name, let us call all the names of the sicknesses we know, or the ones that the people that we know, whatever diagnosis we have had of them, let us call that name this morning because it has a name, and there's a name that is higher than any other names that at the mention of that name, every name will bow. So the cancer cells will bow at the mention of Jesus because he said, ask, and we are asking. He says, seek, we are seeking now. He said, knock, doors will be open unto us. So we are asking and we are knocking. And in the name of Jesus, the doors of healing will be open unto the sick ones this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank God, because he is the only one that can heal and he will heal all the sick. 
both end with this this sick is in our family, it's in our it's our friends, in our church, in our place of work, in our environment, even in our neighbors. Oh Father, we thank you. We thank you for the sick ones this morning because you are God that heals. We thank you because you will heal them. Oh Father, we bless your holy name. In the name of Jesus, let us pray that the healing hand of God will be stretched out this morning upon the life of everyone that are sick in, in the name of Jesus. Father, let your healing hand, let it be stretched out this morning upon every life, every life that are sick in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, let your miracle hand, let it be stretched out upon their life in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, in the name of Jesus, we rebuke every refuge of sickness, in the bodies of, of every members of our household, of every member of our church, of our friends, in the name of Jesus, every refuge of sickness in their body, we reject it. In the mighty name of Jesus, we rebuke it. We ask that it get out of their body. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, Lord, we pray this morning that by your power, every grip and operation of sickness upon the life of our loved ones, uh, upon the life of our brothers, upon the life of our sisters, in the name of Jesus. Father, let that grip be destroyed. Every grip be destroyed. Every oppression of sickness uh, upon the life of our brothers and sisters. Father, we destroy this money by the power in the name and the blood of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, uh, Father, we ask uh, because at the mention of your name, every name must bow. So, Father, we cry unto you this morning that every knee of infirmity in the life of our brothers, in the life of our sisters, bow now in the name of Jesus. Every knee of infirmity in the life of our brothers, in the life of our sisters, bow, bow in the name of Jesus, bow in the mighty name of Jesus, bow every knee of infirmity. Oh, bow now in the name of Jesus. Whatever name you have called it, in the name of Jesus, bow. Cancer, bow. In the name of Jesus, that cell that is mutating. In the name of Jesus, bow now. Bow now and stop mutating. In the name of Jesus, that blood pressure that is going high or that is going low. In the name of Jesus, bow. Because you have a name. And in the name of Jesus, every name must bow. So we speak to you, diabetes, this morning, that you will bow. In the name of Jesus, we speak to you, glaucoma, this morning, that in the name of Jesus, you will bow. Because if you don't have a sight, you cannot read the word of God. You cannot even see people that you are fellowshipping with. Every name must bow. That's the word of God. Glaucoma, we ask you to bow this morning. In the name of Jesus, whatever sickness, Bone sickness, eh? we ask you to bow this morning in the name of Jesus. Arthritis, eh? we ask you to bow this morning in the name of Jesus. Whatever name you have been given, bow in the name of Jesus. Bow, bow in the mighty name of Jesus. Bow in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Father, we pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Eh? That if there be any power, any spirit that is hindering the perfect healing of our brothers, of our sister, Father, in the name of Jesus, we ask, O oh Lord God, that all this power, all the spirit, that they bow and they will die. In the name of Jesus, they will bow, they will die. In the name of Jesus, Father, Lord, we pray this morning. Are we the one hindering our healing? Are we the one hindering our health? Father, we pray that you will grant us wisdom. Grant us wisdom. Wisdom in our intakes. Eh? Grant us wisdom in our lifestyle. In the name of Jesus, eh? that we will live a godly lifestyle. That we will live a good lifestyle. That will not affect our health. Eh? In the mighty name of Jesus. Eh? Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray that every sickness... Eh? that is working against our brothers and our sisters else, eh? or maybe even ourselves. Is there anyone on this prayer line this morning that is sick eh? or oh, that has any infirmity? Father, in the name of Jesus, eh? we pray in the name of Jesus that whatever it is eh, that is working against our good health, Father, let it disappear this morning. In the name of Jesus, let it go away. In the mighty name of Jesus, eh? oh, Father, Lord, we speak against pain this morning, pain in the body, 
pain in the heart. Whatever is causing that pain is a sickness. Pain is a sickness. So we speak death unto pain this morning. In the name of Jesus, eh? whoever that, that is eh? that is having pain, eh? be it pain in your bones, eh? be it pain in your body, be it pain in your heart, eh? receive healing this morning. In the name of Jesus, eh? because the word of God has come out. Eh? He sent his word eh? and he healed every of our diseases, eh? every pain in the body, every pain in the heart. Eh? In the name of Jesus, eh? we say stop. We say stop. We speak death unto that pain. In the name of Jesus, eh? receive your deliverance. Receive your healing. Mm. In the mighty name of Jesus, eh? oh, you fountain of discomfort eh? in any life on this prayer line, eh? in any life of our brothers and our sister. In the name of Jesus, we say dry up. We say dry up. You that fountain of discomfort. You that fountain of pain. Ah, In the name of Jesus, eh? the name above on it. We speak death to you this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Eh? In the name of Jesus, let us begin to speak eh, to every dead organ in the body of our brothers, of our sister, or any malfunctioning organ in the body of our brothers and our sister. Let them receive life in the name of Jesus. Eh? Let the resurrection power of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Uh, let, we re let them receive it now in the name of Jesus uh, and let the organ begin to function the way it's meant to function. Every dead organ, Father, we ask that you replace uh, everyone that needs restoration. Father, we ask that you restore it uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, let the organ uh, in the bodies uh, of our brothers and our sister, let it begin to function the way you set it to function in the mighty name of Jesus. Is it the pancreas? It, Father, Lord, let it begin to function the way you meant it to function. Is it the lungs? Father, let it begin to function the way you set it to function in the name of Jesus. Is it the heart? Father, let it begin to function the way it's meant to function in the mighty name of Jesus. Eh? Is it the blood? Father, let there be purification in the blood eh, this morning in the mighty name of Jesus, oh Lord God. Oh, Father, let there be purification in the blood, eh? even the waters. Eh? Let there be purification in the name of Jesus. Eh? Let your healing power, let it fall upon all these bodies in the mighty name of Jesus. Eh? Father, we ask eh, that you will transfuse your blood. Eh? with the blood of our brothers and our sister, so that there will be perfect healing. There will be, they will have perfect health eh? in the mighty name of Jesus. Eh? Father, Lord, eh? every cancer in the blood, Father, Lord, purify it with your blood. Eh? Mix your blood, oh Lord God, with our brothers and our sister's blood, so that there will be permanent healing in their lives, eh? in the mighty name of Jesus. Eh? Father, Lord, we pray. Let's pray against every internal disorder, let them receive order this morning. In the name of Jesus, every internal disorder that is causing sickness in the body, receive order. In the name of Jesus, receive order this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray that every infirmity will come out with all their roots. In the name of Jesus. Because at the mention of that name, Jesus, eh? Every knee must bow. So infirmity must bow. Because it has a name, infirmity must bow. So you must come out uh, with all your roots in the body of our brothers, in the body of our sister. Out in the name of Jesus. Out in the mighty name of Jesus. Out in the name of Jesus. Because the Lord Jesus Christ, he has redeemed us from curse. And he has come to give us abundant life. Therefore, Every demon of infirmity and sickness, you have no place in the body of our brothers and our sister. So we speak death unto you, infirmity, this morning. In the name of Jesus, eh? you have no dominion over that body of that brother. You have no dominion over that body of that sister. In the name of Jesus, eh? we speak death to you. In the mighty name of Jesus, because Jesus Christ himself, he took away all our infirmities. He bore all our sicknesses on the cross of Calvary. He has paid it all. Therefore, sickness, uh, in the name of Jesus, whatever name you are called, we speak death to you this morning. In the name of Jesus, in the brother of our sisters, in the body of our brothers, we speak death to you. In the mighty name of Jesus, we speak death unto you, that you will bow. 
in the mighty name of Jesus. You will bow, you will bow in the mighty name of Jesus. Father Lord, in your word you say that you will bless our bread, you will bless our water, and you will take sickness away from the midst of us. Father Lord, we confess this scripture this morning, and we ask that this scripture will work wonders in the body of our sisters, in the body of our brothers, in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Let us begin to thank God. Bless his holy name for healing has come unto our sick world this morning in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, righteous Father. Thank you, blessed Redeemer. We worship you. We adore you. We give you all the praise, and we give you all the honor and adoration in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. And now may the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ the love of God and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. 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 Have a blessed day, everyone. God bless us all.